Good morning, good morning, good morning! My name is Kristen, otherwise known as Kitty Plays, and today I am answering your questions. You guys tweeted me at Kitty Plays on Twitter with the hashtag AskKitty, all of your dying questions. Questions that you are dying to know. Definitely didn't get that right the first time. I'm gonna be taking these straight from Twitter. I don't want this video to be too long, but I'll try and get through as many of them as I can today. So, the first question, it comes from Lub. What is your favorite city in Europe? My favorite city has to be Prague, or London, or Barcelona, uh, or province in South France. Uh, actually, I also really like young shopping. I can't, don't know if I can pick one. Uh, the most fun that I've had in a city is probably London in Europe. Um, and then Prague I just think is absolutely beautiful. And because I have Czech heritage, I really like it. But I really want to go and spend a year living in Europe. So I am definitely hounding my dad to get his passport so that I can apply for my passport. And then I can come and join you guys in the EU. So if you would like to see me live in Europe, let me know in the comments down below where and give this video a thumbs up. And maybe we can make that happen next year because Yuri and I, my new puppy, we're coming to Europe. Get your butt ready. Stefan Pretori 6 asks, what is your most prized possession? Okay, I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> Uh, this baby is my most prized possession. This is the PC that I built uh, with Intel. It is amazing. I love it, but it is on a timeout right now. So unfortunately, um, the water cooling sediment split and clogged my water blocks on my graphics cards. And now they can't cool and they get overheated. So I'm going to try and fix that. If not, this baby is going to go back to California and then get sent back to me. But this is definitely my most prized possession. Um, I'm not really much of a possessions person. I definitely like to live more of a minimal thing lifestyle. Um, I only have things that I need or I find really beautiful. So, yeah. Computers is definitely, computer and computer gear is definitely where I have an issue um, as far as having way too many of them. But this is my baby. She's on a timeout, but she's looking really pretty in my kitchen right now. So, yeah. Kynth the second, the two, ugh, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Um, what, oh, hey kitty, how did you get into video games? So, I've answered this quite a few times. Um, if you guys do want to see how I got into Twitch and my journey on Twitch, go watch, I think it's History, uh, what did I call it? Kitty Plays History, I don't know. <laughs> it's a video on YouTube. I'll include a link in the description, um, but it pretty much explains exactly how I got into video games, exactly how I found Twitch, how I made my channel, what I was looking for, and then sums up the first year of my journey on Twitch. So if you guys wanna watch that, it kinda is more in depth, um, but I got into video games because my dad is a really big gamer. Um, I still remember when him and his friend used to run an either cut net corp over the top of the fence in between their houses and play Quake together. Um, LAN style, even though they were in different houses. Um, and that is actually the Ethernet cable that I use today because it's the only one that reaches far enough to my router because my PC doesn't have Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, my dad was a big, big influence on me. Also, my brother and I gamed and grew up gaming together, so my brother and my dad were the biggest influences on me for gaming, and I used to be, <laughs> I'm working on it, I used to be an incredibly, incredibly competitive person, and gaming was where I could relieve all of those competitive feelings. I, Samulos asks, where will your next trip be? Okay, I don't know where my next trip will be. I think I may be going to New York for Thanksgiving weekend. Um, if I don't do that, then I would hope that my next trip would be either somewhere in Asia, somewhere in South America, somewhere in Europe. Ooh, I would love to travel more. That is kind of my goal to get my channel to a place where I can travel more while creating content for you guys. So I do have on the go streaming PCs and I do have a piece, like laptop that I can take, but I always run into issues. If you guys have been following me for a while, I literally have the worst luck with Airbnbs and quality of internet. So I don't know where I'm going next. Maybe I need to actually just take a vacation and explore 
different parts of the world. Maybe we'll start with Europe um, because I just talked about that earlier. Shaperka asks, I know your dad showed you WoW. Do you miss playing it and does your mom play any games? Um, I definitely do miss playing it. The only reason that I didn't play Legion is because I knew if I even like dipped my toe into the pond that is World of Warcraft, I would never leave. And right now in my life, there's so many different things going on that I can't even balance them with the amount of time that I have. So I knew if I sunk any more time into a video game, I wouldn't be able to manage my life anymore and my business would really suffer. I really wish that I played Legion and I am especially sad because I think it's one of the best expansions that they've come out with. Um, but yeah, and as for my mom playing any games, I don't think my mom plays any games that I know of. One time we had her play World of Warcraft with us and she made a little gnome mage with pink hair um, and she quit when she had to kill wolves. So <laughs> that's my mom's experience with gaming. Crystal RBXL asks, how is your day going? My day is going fantastic. I woke up and it was really hot in my house, but it's a beautiful day. And by beautiful day, I mean it's not totally gloomy and make me, makes me want to stay in bed all day. It's like slightly brighter and beautiful and I had a deer in my yard and I'm drinking coffee out of my girl boss mug. So my day is going to be a good day. I don't, I don't require very many things to go right to have a good day, but lots of things are going right today. Emerson TV asks, will you castrate your puppy? What are your overall thoughts on castration? So she's a girl, so she'll be spayed. Um, and that's just because I don't want to deal with heats for the rest of her life. Studies show that if you wait to about 12 to 14 months to spay or neuter your dog, um, the hormones will close their growth plates and they will be a healthier sized dog and won't have as many issues. Um, the younger that you spay or neuter them, um, their growth plates won't close at the right time and you'll often find a lot of issues because of that. So I'll be waiting 12 to 14 months and then Yuri will be getting spayed because, um, I mean, I know how girls deal with their time of the month and I don't want to have to deal with that for my dog as well. Dark Forest asks, what is your favorite place in Kelowna? Okay, if any of you guys are deciding to come to Kelowna, I will tell you my favorite place to hike and my favorite place to eat. So my favorite place to eat in Kelowna is Wasabi. If you guys don't know this, you clearly don't follow my vlogs or my Instagram stories. By the way, at Kitty Plays, go follow me on Instagram. But I absolutely love Wasabi. It's my favorite Japanese store. They're the only place that sells authentic ramen. I literally get excited and like out of breath when I think about it. But I highly recommend Wasabi. And as for hiking, I love every single hiking place in Kelowna, but my favorite definitely has to be anywhere out in Crawford. Um, it is beautiful. There's tons of different trails. You can go hike to lakes, you can hike to creeks, you can hike up the mountain, you can hike into a valley, you can go see water falls. There's so many different trails and lookouts and it's absolutely beautiful. So if you're ever in the Okanagan, definitely check out Crawford trails. And there's lots of mountain biking there too, if you enjoy that, or go trail riding. It's awesome. Dad1607 asks, what was the most life-changing moment you ever had? Okay, this, I've had lots of like life-changing moments that have been like over long periods of time, but the single most life-changing moment of my entire life was when in grade 10, I raised $10,000 for our local cancer research center and I shaved my head, totally shaved it. There wasn't even a guard on the razor. I had this much hair. Um, I was entirely bald and that was the most life-changing moment. I think especially as women and men, we don't realize how much we hide behind our hair. And when I was bald, I was totally completely vulnerable to the elements and to people's judgment. And it was really, I think especially being in grade 10, entering high school, um, a time in my life where we had really started to care more about how we look and are presented to other people. Um, and it made me get over um, vanity to fit in and I realized that I could just fit in and be myself and people, I, I could fit in by being myself and finding people that loved me for who I was and not because I had gorgeous long flowing hair that I could pretend to be a mermaid in the shower with. So. Yeah, but now I'm back to having long hair and I know I'm gonna get questions. Would you ever shave your head again? I think about shaving my head all the time. Um, I get really annoyed with hair a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I really do like my long hair because once I, once again, it is amazing as a woman, 
I'm sure there's many people that agree with me. When you're standing in the shower and you've got hair covering your boobs and you're like, ha 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 ha. No, that's just me, okay. Hey Frank651 asks, how do you motivate yourself? It's nice that you asked this question, Frank, because I'm going to send you right over to our cat chats on motivation. Um, I have been doing a weekly event on my Twitch streams called Cat Chat. It's where I pick a topic and we have an open dialogue about that topic. And I take your guys' questions and your advice and see what you kind of think about things. So, so far we've done things like handling anxiety, motivation, relationships, and confidence and self-love. So if any of those pique your interest, head over to my cat chat playlist. I will include it. Well, it's on my YouTube, if you guys can find it. I don't know if I can include a link to my playlist. Maybe I'll do that down below. And if I don't, remind me in the comments, because I am terrible when it comes to remembering. All right, obviously Tim asks, which would you choose if you could only have one, fame or riches? So my like deepest drive is for freedom, so I would definitely have to pick riches. I believe that in the society that we live in, Money is the currency of success. If you want to compare it to World of Warcraft, it's like XP, it's like gold, it's like talents. It seems that all of those things in our life feed into some sort of monetary value these days. So I really believe in having freedom. I believe that fame brings you less freedom and finances bring you more. So I would definitely pick finances. I definitely don't have that part of me that wants to be famous. I want to help a lot of people. I want to serve a lot of people with my positivity and love and happiness, but I do not want to be famous. Here Brian asks, what tips do you have to balance streaming and real life responsibilities? And this is something that I still don't have an answer to. I believe everybody is obsessed with this idea of balance. We all need more balance. We're like, I need more balance. You need more balance. If you're balanced, you feel great. And sometimes I feel like I'm in balance. Sometimes I feel like I'm not in balance. But the more resistance I offer up when I'm not in balance, the more of an issue it becomes. So I kind of just relax and I just let things be how they are. Um, the biggest thing for me has been only doing the things that I feel excited and inspired to do lately. So if I'm not in the mood, if I really don't feel like streaming, like today where I should be streaming, it's Tuesday, Thursday, hmm, um, I just don't feel like it. I just can't bring myself to stream today and I need to be okay with that because I know if I force myself to stream it's not going to be a good stream but I am really excited to film some videos for you guys and get some work done so I'm going to follow that energy because I know I'm going to be able to get twice as many videos done and as twice as much work done rather than having a half ass stream if that makes any sense so I believe that our bodies know how to balance themselves and anytime we feel out of balance is when we're pushing ourselves to do the things that we truly don't feel like doing. Raul asks, what languages do you speak? I speak fluent English, if you can't tell. Actually, I would say it's like, I have about 90% English, even though that's my native language. Um, but I've been really trying to learn German lately on my Duolingo app, and then after I become fluent in German, <laughs> uh, I believe it'll happen one day, but like, oh my god, how do people learn languages? I don't understand. Um, I took French until grade 12, so I know a little bit of French. Uh, I know a little bit of Japanese because I'm a weeb and I watch a lot of anime. And I know a little bit of Spanish as well. So that is where I'm at. I would love to learn more. One of my goals is to actually learn Mandarin, which I think is really, really cool. Oh, this is a good question. Nick A30, looking back now, do you have any regrets since dropping out of university? Ho, 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 ho. No, I did not regret dropping out of university. I don't regret anything. Ever since I dropped out of university, that was the first step in my life to realizing that I can create, I can have fun, I can do what I love, and I can get paid to do it using this beautiful insanity that is the internet. And I do not regret for a single second dropping out. It was the best decision in my entire life. I have never been so sad and felt so forced and felt so stuck as I did when I was in university. And while I don't recommend everyone heeding my call and dropping out right now, I dropped out when I realized that I could create a sustainable living off of doing what I love. All I wanted to do was <laughs> make it sustainable and then I dropped out. I didn't drop out because when I wasn't making any money um, because to me, money is freedom and I never ever want to feel like I'm strapped or forced to do anything that I don't want to do because 
I don't have enough money. Um, back to the same freedom thing. But no, I definitely, definitely made the right decision dropping out of university. When I look back now at everything that I've accomplished and what I've built and grown on my own in the last three years, I get like seriously emotional. And it's really good for me to remind myself once in a while that I have built my own little kitty empire in the past three years because I think we're incredibly critical on ourselves and it's good to reflect and focus on what you've done. Kyle Henry asks, favorite anime series? My favorite anime series is Yuri on Ice right now. Oh my God, I've never, <laughs> oh, I've never shipped a couple so hard as Yuri on Ice. I have a problem of the intro. I get up and I dance every time I hear it. It's gonna move my body because baby, we're all, we're here to make history. I'm okay, but definitely Yuri on Ice this season, um, and I think overall things like Toradora, Himoto, uh, um, I really like the Fate Stay series, uh, oh my god, I literally have so many anime that I love, um, if you go to myanimelist.com, my username is Kitty Plays. you can see a lot of the stuff that I've watched, although it is not totally updated, so... Keep that in mind. P Tank 40 asks, how can I be more positive? Okay, I've got a really quick answer to this. Focus on what's going right. You need to be grateful and appreciative of the things that are going well in your life. There's so many amazing, beautiful, fantastic occurrences and people out there in the world and it's so easy for us to be stuck in that little bubble of self pity and insecurity and sadness and comparing yourself to others. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop allowing people to dictate how you view yourself. Focus on the things that are going positive and well in your life and I promise you, changing your thoughts from negative to positive and getting good at doing that, because we're always going to have these negative thoughts. I still have negative thoughts, but I've gotten really good that if I'm having a negative thought, I know the trigger that will push it back into a space where I'm looking at it with clean, positive eyes and not in just this crazy little negative stupor that I get myself into. It's early 96, what is your favorite thing to do in the morning to get you pumped for the day ahead? So I've got a pretty like crazy morning routine, which by the way is gonna be uploaded on the channel very soon. So if you're excited about that, like this video, but I have a couple things that are really good to get you pumped up. One of the things, I just listen to spa music to relax me, but then when I do my makeup and I start getting ready for the day, um, I put on really feel-good, happy music. There's a ton of playlists on Spotify. I'm sure you can find one that fits your taste. Um, but feeling good with music and dancing helps me a lot. Also, I do 100 jumps a day. And it's really good for your body because it gets your lip flowing and it gets your muscles engaged. So 100 jumps a day. Um, I'll show you just really quickly how to do them, <laughs> but they're really simple. Okay. So you just jump a hundred times and that's it. Really the biggest things are listening to good music um, to get you pumped up for the day. Go Front Lawn asks, YouTube or Twitch crush? I actually get asked this a lot and I feel like there's a certain sort of involvement of the community that they feel like they need to ship everyone together and it's actually really exciting when people get together. Like I still remember when I used to watch Leah before I started streaming and I shipped her and Chance and then we had to like spam about the truth and it was just like so fun to watch them like in their early relationship, so I totally understand where this question comes from. Um, but I don't really have a, like all my crushes on people on Twitch, on YouTube, or on girls. Um, I really don't find the men of this area or space that attractive to me. I also believe that I sh you shouldn't really date in the same industry that you're in. I think that causes a lot of issue. Um, but yeah, definitely Leah, both Leahs, Sniper Wolf and Legendary Leah. Uh, Sonia the Evil, um, who else have I been watching? Celeste56, um, who else? Oh, Bunny Girl on YouTube is really cute. Um, oh, I, lots, I have lots of crushes. <laughs> Ymir2000, what are your current life goals? P.S. I love you so much. You're amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. You are amazing too. We're actually all amazing. Did you know that? Um, my current life goals, <laughs> they change every day. I actually haven't really set goals in a long time, but I definitely... My YouTube goal is to get this channel to 350,000 subscribers, so if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this video, help me make my goals and like the video and subscribe for every like. You get 69 people to come and find this video, did you know that? My current goal in life is, 
overall goal is to do what I love and what I want to do at every moment and be able to create a life where I can follow my passions and my dreams and my excitements and never feel weighed down by obligation and responsibility. So I live a very free life. I, I don't, I just kind of bump around. Um, my other goal is to be able to train my dog well. I get her in nine days. <laughs> Um, I want to be able to train my dog well and be a good dog mom, so I'm really excited about that. That's one of my goals. And another goal is to travel and uh, go somewhere new, I guess. Wiener881, hey kitty, or ask kitty, are you still horseback riding? Yes, I'm still horseback riding. It is like my passion, it is my love. I love being around horses and horseback riding. It's just something that I grew up with and my first word was horse and I'm kind of that crazy horse girl, but I took a break for university, um, but I'm back at it. And just the weather hasn't been that good uh, in Kelowna lately, so I haven't been riding as much, but I am back riding now and I'm very, very excited and happy about that. Fats70 or Oscar Lee, hi Oscar. Why did you choose a Great Dane and why not a male instead of a female? P.S. I love you. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys this story really quickly and then I'm gonna end the Ask Kitty because this is a little bit of a long one even though it's kind of actually really short. I don't know how long this is gonna take. But, um, I have a love of cats, dogs, horses. I love all animals. Um, and being living alone lately has made me really crave having an animal around. I go to my parents all the time to see my pets and I can't have them here at this house because they are in like the utopia of where animals should be, up in the middle of nowhere, in the forest. So it was time for me to get um, an animal and I went online and I was looking at lots of different cats and dogs and they literally had every type of cat and dog that I wanted. They had the... Um, King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, they had the Himalayan kittens, they had the Bengals, they even had Savannahs, which are all cats that I've been looking at, um, and they even had like uh, Pomeranian Huskies, which I think are really cute, um, but I've never really seen myself as a small dog girl. Um, I really like the King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, I think they're beautiful, um, but they weren't really like when it came down to actually getting one and find, I found a really amazing like really amazing puppies I just I didn't feel any attachment to it and then I saw that there was an ad for Great Dane puppies and I just immediately felt like such a heart pull and I know it's like so weird to describe but when you get to a point in your life where you have kind of mastered the art of your emotions and feelings you really do get like a lot of internal wisdom and I make a lot of the right decisions because I'm so in tune with what I really want, not just what I think I want. Um, so when I saw that ad, I just had like such a heart pull. And I was like, oh my god, like, I've always wanted a Great Dane. I can't believe there's Great Dane puppies. And I went online and I looked at the photos. And then I looked at the first two photos. It was the Fawn and the Harley Quinn. And I was like, oh, those are adorable. And then I saw the photo of Yuri. And I was like, oh my god, like, that is my dog. Like, that. Like that's her, and I saw that it was a girl and I was even more excited. So I think there was something in me that really wanted a female dog. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I just felt such a pull. It was like the same thing when I went um, and I was looking for a house to buy. It was, I saw like, like probably 30 homes. And when I walked into this one, I just knew, you know, you just know, you, when you see it, you know it, and if you don't get that feeling, whether it's with a house or a car or a dog, um, you, don't, you don't know, I, I feel like it's, you gotta keep looking until you just know. <laughs> Sounds so weird, but I just knew, and then I met her, and she is the craziest, most evil little munchkin. She beats on her brothers, she is so explorative, she was the first one to climb stairs, she's like the leader of the pack, and I just, I really love that about her. So I don't know, it's a huge decision to get a dog and I'm ready for the responsibility. I work at home. I have like the perfect home to have her. Um, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah, I'm getting a puppy. And it's not just me getting a puppy. I wanna remind you guys that it is us getting a puppy. For the month of November, I've got a lot of exciting things planned. One of them is I will be doing Vlogmas. So if you're excited about Vlogmas, give this video a thumbs up because it's something that I'm gonna to commit to. I know I was doing daily vlogs for a long time and kind of fell out of that. So we'll be doing Vlogmas for the month of December. I've got 
24 days, or I guess 25 days of giveaways, um, which I'm really excited for you guys too. Um, it'll be everything that you're interested in, so don't worry. Um, so that's gonna be another thing that I'm doing on my channel. So with Vlogmas, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of Yuri. Um, she will be become a part of this family. And then next year, um, when she's a year old, I'm gonna get a little kitten uh, for her because Great Danes really like to have cats for some reason. I don't know why, but um, we're gonna get a cat. But I just wanna get her at a stable point um, before we get one. Um, I also thought about getting a kitten and a puppy at the same time. <laughs> If you think I should get a kitten and a puppy at the same time, let me know because I'm sure I could find a kitten in time um, to have them both and I think that would be really, really fun too. Lots of exciting things coming up in December. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to check them out. And so lots of giveaways, lots of fun times. We're gonna decorate together, we're gonna go shopping together, we're gonna do all the fun, cook together, all the fun things that happen in December. You will get my version of Christmas. I will make you feel at home. I will love you and appreciate you and give you things for Christmas. So I'm really excited for the month of December and right now it's just getting everything prepared for that. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Ask Kitty. I really appreciate everyone that asks questions. If you don't already follow my Twitter, at Kitty plays or my instagram at kitty plays or my facebook at kitty plays or subscribe to this channel make sure to do that and i will see you guys in the next video i love you